Right, so the question is, is what is a vacuum leak that will cause your engine to run hot? And I had a comment a little while ago, and a guy says that this right here is a vacuum leak that will cause your engine to run hot. And basically what I want to do is I want to kind of explain to you what this is designed for. Um, this is actually, here's a carburetor off right here. It's actually a very, very small hole and it does not suck any vacuum until it is at a higher rpm and what this and and somebody says well it sucks vacuum well actually this side of the carburetor when you're above this portion when you're above the uh, flapper inside your carburetor which this is above that this chamber comes right from the middle of the carburetor so and what it does is air goes over it to actually make it uh, create suction here as the engine RPMs go higher and higher. So basically, this is actually air com that comes in here that would be just basically unfiltered air. It would be the same thing as if it was just coming down the carburetor, but a little bit tiny bit. I mean, we're talking about a very, very small hole of, va of air can leak into here and not really change your mixture because it's still the same amount of volume of air is going through the whole carburetor whether it's coming in the side a little tiny bit of it coming in the side because it only can let this much go through at a time so you know a lot of a lot of people are misinformed on that particular item and they think that this is a vacuum leak and it's really not it, yeah it should have a it should have a cap on it you know, because it's unfiltered air getting into your system and you know it could change the mixture you know a, a so small of an amount you know it wouldn't even really make any difference but um you know it, it is a but if if your concern is that this is going to make your engine run hot then you're looking in the wrong place um that is not usually going to cause a problem at all just so you know anyway um, another thing that I just happen to want to just be, be put in the same video, an actual vacuum leak that would cause uh, an engine to run hot would have to be somewhere below the actual, uh, what's it called again, the flapper inside the carburetor. It has to be below that. So if, for instance, you had a... The hose that was below here some of the car some of the uh, manifolds in the later models had a little hose coming out of here if that was uncapped that would be a definite vacuum leak if this if this gasket here from the carburetor was leaking that would be a vacuum leak that would cause your engine to run hot um, if you had your in your manifold here uh, was was not sealed properly to the heads that would be a vacuum leak that would cause your engine to run hot. Or if you have the, um, the, the little boots right here um, uh, on, your, on your dual port heads, dual port manifold, um, those leak vacuum, those get a little crack in them, a little bitty crack, that'll cause your engine to run hot. But this particular one right here, um, no, it's not enough. It, it, it's it's basically instead of the air coming in through here a little tiny bits coming through here when the throttles open and it's just such a minor amount that it will not change your mixture all right happen to want to just be, be put in the same video is uh, and I've said this a few times I get a lot of comments on that fuel filter um, I've been running these for 35 years and in fact I know a lot of people who are as old as me or older and they've been doing it their whole life and having this type of a filter here and as long as it has clamps on it on the pressure side um, we've never had a issue from a fire from that so just so you know and the thing that usually happens that you have a fire from is actually this barb that goes into the carburetor right here pops out uh, and leaks a fuel onto your distributor and that's usually what happens I've never personally ever heard of or seen one of these types of filters, the plastic ones like this, ever leak. Now, I've seen the guys with the little glass ones 
where they're twisted together, I've seen those cause engine fire, but not these plastic ones. Never have. Um, I've never even heard of somebody who did it. Um, the only thing I've ever seen, like I said, was this was either this hose was cracked or there was no clamps on here or this actual barb that was in the carburetor actually came out of the carburetor. So just so you know, funny thing, I always get that same comment. So I just wanted to address that in the same video here. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.